Hey, that smile, dude, that smile is scary as hell. Woo! The flash step. Oh, he's about to blast you. That, yo. Yo. Damn. He freaking shredded him. What did he even do? He just looked at him. He just opened his eyes and he blasted him to shreds. You're going to use me as a coke rack? What's up guys, it's your boy Rue and we are back for another Jujutsu Kaisen reaction. So today we're going to be reacting to last week's episode in which I, I know I'm a little bit late. I had some things happen, you know what I'm saying, but I'm here for it now. So let's get into it. In the last one, we got to see the trio or the new trio, Kamo, Inumaki, and Pushy Girl team up against Tsunami and they got absolutely bodied. They got clapped up. They stood no chance. Especially Inumaki, like his his whole entire freaking throat just like blew up just from saying like from his words the feedback. Probably because Hanami was just that strong, that much of a problem. And then um Maki showed up, he also got clapped up, but because she showed up, we got to learn that the weapons that she's using and other curse tools actually have like a grade to them, just like sorcerers. I thought that was pretty cool. So he probably he took that black sword and that the pole, like the bow staff. I believe it was called the uh, Playful Cloud, they, he called it, and that, uh, so apparently those two actually did damage against the Nami. So I'm assuming they're either, they're probably special grade weapons, like the highest Z tier, ultimate, like highest, hardest to get, one of a kind, completely unique. So that, I thought that was cool that they added that little new dynamic. And then um, as soon as Fushiguro and Maki were basically about to get KO'd, Toto and Itadori pulled up. They came with the clutch pull up, came up on Hanami. Itadori finally mastered some new technique and that technique apparently distorts space just because of the amount of cursed energy and like the speed at which he hits and as we know Itadori is at, like if you take out cursed energy and any other special powers that sorcerers have Itadori is like the physically the most strongest character in this anime like even more than Gojo just physically wise not taking into account any cursed energy at least that's the way I'm seeing it so I thought, so that technique really suits him well. And then one thing I find interesting is that basically Toto specified a rule, right? That there's no current sorcerer that exists that can use this technique repeatedly. So if you watch the anime, you already know that that rule's about to get broken, right? Like the main character, the protagonist, Itadori Yuji, is about to spam the hell out of that technique. Like it's going to become like a Sengon, Itadori, Kamehameha. Like it's going to become like one of those. He's going to be using it constantly. And then right at the end, the last episode ended on off that cliffhanger of where Toto is about to release his technique, which we have actually haven't seen any of his techniques. All he's been doing is just using his fists and um, teaching his best friend, Itadori. So I look forward to seeing his actual sorcerer techniques. So let's see, hopefully I'm hoping for a lot of action. Let's get right into this. Let's go. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Damn, damn. What is this? What is going on right now? Oh, we're about to get some backstory for Toto. Okay, we're about to get some backstory. Dude, he beat him. He beat him off. He went. Ah, ah, he went in, son. Jeez. So he was savage from a from he was a kid. Who is? Hey, it's the question. It's the question. She just asked this question. Is is this is this why he's like this? Wait, so is that girl the reason why you always ask like what's what's your type? Opening already? That quick? Let's go. Let's see it. What's he got? What's he got for us? That's what I'm saying. He hasn't used it yet. He literally hasn't used his technique yet. He's been like bodying people, like fighting a, like on level with Hanami up until now. Like, are you serious? Yo, look at that look in this man's face. Let's go! Let's go! It's time to pop off! Let's go! Body this thing! I'm pretty sure they can't because this is only like episode 20. So there's no way Hanami's about to go down. But I would love to see it, you feel me? Usually whenever the good character is called victory this early, it doesn't have good and good. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Body him! Are you see? I told you, I knew it's some some freaking nonsense. Oh my gosh, man! Toto, where's the big brain? Where's the big brain? What happened? Oh heck! This is not how. This is not happening. We're not doing this today. Oh no 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 no! Dude, pay attention, man. Pay attention. No no no! He's not going down like this. No 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 way! Ain't no way! Oh, 
his his renegon ability, his renegon ability, his times, his ability to warp space time or whatever. Forgot, forget the words I was looking for. His ability to um switch paces with people, literally like renegon. Like you know what I'm saying? I wonder how he's doing that though. Soft position with my opponents, almost like a renegon renegon ability. Boogie woogie, are you kidding me? Boogie woogie, that's what he called it. Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Clapping his hands? Clapping his hands is necessary to attack? Oh, now that I think about it, he did clap his hands when um, the very initially time he fought Itadori. I think. Oh, yo, let's go! Get your hits in there! Oh, right to the gut! Give me that sternum! Give me that sternum! Oh yeah, he can't- Hanami can't keep up with the speed because Itadori's fast, but Toto got that power. He got that heavy weight into his punches. You can't tell, huh? It's both! What the heck? It's probably both. Hey, we got him. We got him. Hey, let's go! Where's the black flash? F him up! Come on! Yeah, give me that blood! I'm trying to blood. You dripping. You leaking. Woo! Yo, he's just <laughs> clapping, clapping. Give me that cheek. Give me that cheek. Heck, dude, they popping off on Hanami. I mean, let's go. Finally, he's getting what he deserves. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's do it. Woo! Give me those knees. Finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. What are you waiting for? What's with this lag? Dude, I did not think Nanami would be the one to have it most. Have the most, the record for it, to using it the most. Four times consecutively, he got lucky. Well, Itadori is all about that luck. Take that! Yeah! Eat that! Eat it! Get him! Three more! You're the main character. I'm expecting you to go to like 10 in a row. You feel me? It's like the Rasengan. It's like Kamehameha. I could keep doing it. I ain't getting tired. Right to the face. Ooh! Let's go! He's taking the damage! He is getting wrecked! I am here for this. Let's go, man. Let's go. That was three. That was three. I already I told you at the beginning of this episode he was about to do a lot of them. I already called it. He's a main character and he literally whenever rules stated, main characters break those rules. Wait, what? Ooh, it is that it is it is that technique that Nanami used. Hey The bluff, the bluff is real. I wonder when all the other characters are gonna come up because there's still that knife guy. The knife guy's still there. Then we got Mahito. Just where's what's the with Mahito? But dang, this animation. The fights in Jujutsu Kaisen are just top notch. Ooh, this music though. This music though. It's got a nice little, little kicking vibe to it. The combination of the instruments in it too. What just happened? Oh, is he starting? To, he's learning as he fights. Is he Broly? Is he learning how he fought a fight as the time goes on? Ah, oh. yeah, yeah. He's learning how to fight. It's learning how to fight. It's getting used to technique. It's on some Broly type stuff. It's on Broly type stuff. Hey, okay, dude. Toto is strong as heck, man. He is okay. There we go. Here's the um background story. Here's the background story. Okay, never mind. This is not a background story. I want to see that blonde chick. Why is she showing up? I want to see that blonde girl that the spirit. Oh wait, is this an in-time dream? Is he having this dream in the moment? Yeah, he's thinking about this right now in the middle of a fight. He's why is he dreaming about her in the middle of a fight? What is wrong with this man? He has so many issues, it's not even funny. With what can I swap within my only... 
On oh, he can switch with. Okay, it's really basically a Renegon ability. He can switch with anything like rocks, trees, people, the uh, Hanami itself, the spirit. Interesting. This is where it lies waiting. What's waiting? What is he talking about? Oh, the playful cloud, the S grade weapon. Let's go. I didn't even realize that he left it. Oh, clutch, clutch. That's super clutch. Because Maki was using it only as a weapon. So if Toto uses the weapon with his own cursed energy, is it going to be like an additive effect? Like, will it be doubly effective? Because that weapon itself is S grade. And I'm a, I'm a special grade. And I'm, I'm assuming Toto is pretty close to special grade himself. Yeah, he's powering it up with the cursed energy. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, come on. Crunch your roll, please, Lil. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. That's what I'd like to see. Okay, that's, that's not what I'd like to see. Dude, Toto is putting in the finest of work. Did Gojo break the veil? Did Gojo break the veil? He broke the veil! This man, he took his eye band off! Let's go! Dude, his eyes are so scary. His eyes freak the hell out of me. Like, it's so calming, but insanely powerful. Like, dude, he broke the veil, man. Let's go. Okay, let's see what this old man's got. Let's see what this old man's got. Okay. I'm so curious, like, I don't know if he, is he like a human sorcerer or is he like a cursed spirit? I don't know what this thing is. They didn't explain anything. Remember, I think his name is Geto. I forgot in the previous episodes, but I checked it out and I believe I'm correct when, I, when I'm saying that right here. I'm pretty sure that's who they're referring to that's helping the cursed spirits. So maybe all of these cursed spirits, so maybe all, only the cursed spirit here is Hanami. Are, is it the knife guy and then this guy? They're both sorcerers? Juzo. Who's Juzo? Oh, his name is Juzo. So they're sorcerers then. Are they part of the team? Like Ghetto's team? Like kind of his squad? Yeah, dude, this view though. Let's go! Let's go! Let's do it! Where should you start? Everywhere at the same time! Everywhere! Everything, all of them. The cursed spirit, the sorcerers that are helping him, Geto, Hanami, all of them. Clap them all up. Fadi them. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so as far as you go, that's what I thought. Run with your tail between your legs. Run, get out of here, cowards. You can't match up to my mans. Dude, this dude, when he takes his freaking bandana off, and you can, like, not his bandana, but you know what I'm talking about, his freaking blindfold. His blindfold, when he takes that off, he's... Oh, he's noticed. Yuji's on a much higher level, my man. Leveled up. He leveled up. He's not just Sakura's vessel anymore. He's getting his own identity. You feel me? Hey, that smile. Dude, that smile is scary as hell. Woo! The flash step. Oh, he's about to blast you. That Yo! Yo! Damn! He freaking shredded him. What did he even do? He just looked at him. He just opened his eyes and he blasted him to shreds. You're going to use me as a cloak rack? If you saw the Jujutsu scroll from the previous episode, you know what that guy was referring to. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Bro, this guy is nuts. Gojo is insane. Yo. He is freaking on a whole nother level if there's a special grade sorcerer it's definitely like he's special special grade like he's double z tier he's gonna get a little rough what was that you just did blue yo what is he doing what is he doing Oh, he's about to do something. What is Gojo about to do? What is he about to do, man? What is he about to do? What is he about to do? Oh my goodness, what is he about to do? Hollow? Hollow? Hollow purple? Hollow purple? Blue plus red? 
Damn, it's like a... Yo! Yo! Holy jeez! Dang! Bro, jo Gojo is nuts. He is nutty. Oh my goodness. Dude, Gojo is... Oh my goodness. Gojo Sensei is just on a whole different level. Like, there's no... like. I don't know why they're how they're planning on like capturing him. Like, how is he going to capture him? Like, how is Hanami going to capture this guy? Hanami and Geto, like, dude, look at look at his attitude switch. As soon as he takes that blindfold off, it's pure savagery. No, like, he just destroys everything. But he puts it on his attitude switch to his com comedy, like his funny expressions and all that. Wait, what is this? They were after the Sukuna finger. And the episode ends right there. Are you serious, bro? Alright, guys. That's the end of the episode. What I wanted to happen, happened. Pretty much everything I talked about in the beginning. But the main highlight of this episode was definitely my main man's. The most OP, double Z tier, triple Z tier, double e S graded Sorcerer Gojo Sensei, you know what I'm saying? And he not only broke the veil, but in the matter of like milliseconds, he he already he got Hanami to just admit defeat and run away like a coward, right? With its ta tails between his legs, just escape him out of there. He used one technique called an amplification technique, and then he used the reversal. So I don't remember if like that was explained in the first like the first few episodes. Because when he first fought, he did have that little, like, that red explosion blast. But all I really remember him on is he didn't even use domain expansion. He didn't have to. He just he just combined these two techniques and just... He literally just blasted that man. Like, I think his name was Jozu or Rozu, the guy with the knife, the one that made the veil. He blasted him to shreds in a matter of seconds. And the old man knew immediately. He was like, don't kill him. Like, don't kill him. Like, nah, I'm gonna kill him. What the heck? I'm gonna kill him. He tried to hurt Ikidori, my main pupil. I didn't let him survive. You know what I'm saying? So that was dope. We finally got to see him in action again because we rarely get to see this man. And every time he pops up without that freaking um, <clears throat> blindfold on, he's just, he's a major problem. And his eyes and his smiles just have a whole different meaning from his usual happy-go-lucky character. At the very end, we saw Hanami. And the whole purpose of this was to get a Sakuna finger. That's interesting. So why they're gathering? They want all I remember is they want the, the Sukuna vessel Itadori, and they want to seal off Gojo. So if them assembling the fingers is that a method of a means to like attract those two towards them, or do they have a separate purpose like to to like strengthen her spirits or to like? Because remember Hanami can um not Hanami, what's his name again? Dang it, Mahito, Mahito. Maito can like manip um, manipulate the soul and like basically convert sorcerers or regular humans into curse spirits. So are they going to try and test like if they can strengthen those curse spirits with the Sakuna finger, or are they just using it as kind of like a radar? Like, oh, we're here. We have all these Sakuna fingers. Come find us. Come into our trap. So I I don't know what's going to happen with that. We'll see why he wants why like what the purpose of them gathering the Sakuna fingers are. And we'll see what's going to happen with like what's going to happen afterwards with this exam stuff. It's a great episode. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys thought of this reaction. Do you agree with some of the stuff I said? Do I disagree? Did I say things that were like just completely? If I said anything that was completely wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments. So that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Have a great, great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.